Bungie is one of the worst DEI studios out there, and Halo is primed to just go the way of Assassin's Creed, go the way of Star Wars Outlaws, of the Arkham Asylum brand. They're on their way down. Um, This is not a new post, uh, but, but there's new stuff that ties into this. Happy Pride Month, everybody. Embrace love, diversity, and inclusion by equipping Unity's 24 armor coding nameplate and emblem in Halo Infinite this June. Let's stand together honoring our LGBTQIA plus community, honoring my friends, and forging a future of unity and acceptance for all. Pride 2024. And as usual, comments turned off. <laughs> they, they know. They know gamers don't want this stuff. But here's the deal. if uh, They released a new video about the future of Halo and this wonderful initiative they're doing, uh, which we're going to get into in just a moment. And uh, it's, it's full of uh, exactly what you'd expect. It's the exact same thing every other major company has been doing. Halo is intent on destroying its brand, um, and uh, we're going to cover it the whole way. All right, hit the like and subscribe button. Join us here, my friends. And uh, please, uh, I am a comic book creator. I've got an awesome, uh, you know, if you love Halo, just shooting alien Xenos out there. I've got a great comic book for you. This is on Fund My Comic. This got banned from Kickstarter. Um, I got banned from Kickstarter. I made a video on this this morning. Go watch that. It's crazy. Um, But they just don't like my YouTube commentary here. But if you like my YouTube commentary here, I've been looking for you guys for a long time. You're the target audience. I don't want the modern audience. I want people who are interested in classic science fiction to grab my new book, The Emerald Array. This is about a team of elite space marines uh, going out and dealing with the Xenos who are invading. If you're a Halo fan, you're going to absolutely love this. It's in the description below. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's Like I said, I would love for you to back this today and support our cause. Support banned books. Yeah, that's right. That's uh, it's the cost of uh, doing business uh, when you don't don't like your, uh, <laughs> your crap being taken over by this. It's terrible. So I saw this first on IGN. Uh, the future Halo games are moving to Unreal Engine 5 uh, as uh, 343 Industries rebrands multiple projects in, de- in uh, development. They, they're now being called Halo Studios in a fresh beginning for Xbox's f- flagship franchise. Oh, it's going to be fresh, all right, for modern audiences. <laughs> um, so during Sunday's Halo World Championships, they made a number of announcements, including that it will be changing its name from Halo Studios, working on multiple new games. In addition, the branded, rebranded studios will say that all future projects will be developed on Unreal Engine, leaving behind Slipspace Engine utilized by Halo Infinite. Um, interesting choice there. Uh, the announcements were unveiled in a seven-minute video shown ahead of the Halo World Championships. It is uh, it is a cringe fest here. And here's our chief, oh oh here's our new chief of staff of, of Halo Studios. I'm, I'm sure she's going to pick the best, most uh, most diverse and inclusive people for the job here. Um, it, this is a, a basic corporate video where, it, where you can see it right here. It's, it's, the, it's the usual suspects all the way around. Oh, geez, I just, uh, just uh, clipped through my video here. Um, and uh, very, uh, very female-centric here. Very female-centric uh, uh, staff here. We got Chief Operating Officer Elizabeth Van Wick. Oh joy! Um, and uh, they go through and they they talk about how this uh, this new rebranding is going to be shaping the future. It's going to be making everything better than before. They're going to be redesigning uh, the the Halo assets for a uh, to bring them up to current standards. Uh, is is what they say on here? Current standards. That scares me. <laughs> and uh, they're so excited for the future here. So excited for the future. Now, um, <laughs> it's a huge shift for the Halo series, not le- the least because the resources poured into Slipspace Engine over the course of development. Uh, that is a huge shift right there. It just means that they're going to be a little lazier about their designs these days, obviously. Uh, and it's immediate, and you can see why uh, every single time based on who's working on the project. This is exactly what happens at every single studio. It's like a carbon copy. It really is. It's going to be bloated. It's going to be crazy. They're going to not uh, innovate. They're going to use other people's work uh, that's better than theirs. Uh, and, of course, that's how it goes. 
Respectfully, some of the components of Slipspace are almost 25 years old, Art Director Chris Matthews said. Although 343 were developing it continuously, there are aspects of Unreal that Epic has been developing for some time, which are unavailable to us in Slipspace, which we've taken huge amounts of time and resources to try to replicate. Uh, So they're copy-pasting. In 2023, a report suggested that Halo's developers were ready to hit the reset button on the series after a heavy shakeup within the studio, including transitioning to Unreal Engine. The report also said that Halo's developers were focusing on pitching new Halo games while prototyping ideas. Uh, you know what's going to come with the new games. They're, they're going to replace Master Chief uh, with Master Chiefdess. <laughs> oh gosh, it's going to be so cringy. Um, and that's exactly what they do every single time. So uh, getting into this, uh, Cabrutus, uh, who made the um, whole uh, DEI detected scenario, <laughs> sees uh, Melissa Boone here and her beautiful uh, purple hair that she's got there, <laughs> the chief of staff, and says, okay, now I'm worried. Uh, and at first he was actually excited. When they said that they're going to be putting on the Unreal Engine, he's like, oh, finally. Uh, interesting. Uh, but uh, you get into the video and you're like, uh-oh. Um, and then it was revealed this. It gets worse. So here's the chief of staff. You've got She's got a whole LGBTQ flag on her LinkedIn profile, as usual. Uh, she's got her pronouns on there. She's hashtag hiring. And uh, that's exactly what's going to be happening. So as the current, uh, she's currently chief of staff of Halo's franchise studios, stewards of the Halo's franchises. My role is to ensure the smooth running of our studio. It includes a little bit of everything. I'm a problem solver, process builder, strategic thinker, executor, integrator, and communicator, and advisor. Basically, this is the best job ever. Someone with, with a lot of interest who likes to say busy and possesses a healthy passion for military science fiction and lore. I'm sure she possesses that healthy fa- passion. It This is uh, always something that uh, we see a lot, right? Um, and it's something that is... Uh, typical for community organizers, community directors, chiefs of staffs. Uh, This is who they're hiring these days to take over these properties. And every single time when somebody's like broadcasting these flags and things like that, you know what's coming down the pipeline. You know that it's going to add more diversity and inclusivity to the game. It's going to add uh, the DEI agenda across everything. And uh, that's the whole deal. So uh, this is the rebrand. We'll see what happens on this level uh, as things continue to fail. Not going so good for Ubisoft today. Uh, (laughs) As it confirms they are taking the company private. Is this going to be something that happens uh, with Microsoft as they go down the line? I don't know. Microsoft's got a lot of other stuff going on. This is just one side business for them. But it bodes ill for the Halo franchise uh, to see who the chief of staff is of this new studio. And this whole video was super corporate and cringy. Uh, I don't see something that looks like uh, I've got any excitement for forthcoming Halo games myself, but we'll see. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button, my friends. Thank you for being there today. And thank you for supporting real military science fiction projects. This is the Emerald Array. This is everything you've always wanted. Banned on Kickstarter. Too hot for it. Check it out, guys, in the description below. Thank you so much for the support. And grabbing our comics. We'll be back soon.